Can we bring the Orville back for a fourth season? I think so. We just found out on January 25th that there is still hope, and that's what we're going to be talking about today here on Star Trek Nitpickers. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us. Lieutenant William here. So, TVLine.com recently released a quote from Craig Erwich, president of ABC Entertainment and Hulu and Disney branded television streaming originals try saying that three times fast, where he basically tells us there is still no decision on whether or not the Orville will get a fourth season. Here's the quote from TVLine.com. We don't have anything to share right now, Erwich told me. It's a great show, and I know that the fans loved having it back in their lives, and Seth MacFarlane did a great job, uniquely as he can, in front of and behind the camera. But we don't have anything to share right now. End quote. So, I just keep thinking of the old adage, no news is good news. In a moment, I'll share a recent quote from Seth MacFarlane himself about a fourth season, but first, let me ask you to please subscribe to our channel to help us and help us support the Orville. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed. So, Seth MacFarlane himself recently had this to say. There's some trickiness in making another season, but look, the actors are the easy part. The trickier part is, how do I work it into everything else that's now going on? I will say that I get as emotionally invested in the show as any of the fans, so I will find a way to do it if there is a season four. The renewal odds are 50-50. My hope is that when the show drops on Disney+, Plus, the people who haven't yet discovered the Orville will suddenly give it a chance. That's a potential game changer for us. I think that creatively and audience wise, when people sit down and give the show a chance, it upends their expectations. The biggest burden with the show is preconceptions. People think it's one thing. There are people out there who think it's a sitcom. And when they sit down to watch it, they realize it's something completely different. Once you get people's eyeballs on it, the show does the work. It speaks for itself, and people tend to be hooked. So in my opinion, the holdup on the decision is probably in part due to McFarlane being overcommitted with the TED show he's doing for NBC and all the other stuff he's supposed to be doing for them too. It could also be that while the Orville is getting watched by a lot of people, they're just not sure if it's enough of a hit to justify the cost of making it, etc, etc. If you guys look at what he says about how more people tuning in on Disney Plus could be a game changer, that really implies the accountants are still calculating and crunching numbers regularly, probably, regarding how many people are watching. I signed up for Hulu because the Orville moved over to it from Fox. I was already thinking about upgrading to the Disney bundle where you get Hulu and Disney so I could watch Star Wars stuff. I guess I'll do it now to support the Orville and start watching it there, too. I think the best thing we can do to increase the chances of getting that much-deserved fourth season is watch the Orville on Hulu and Disney Plus and promote it on social media. Hashtag renew the Orville. So I want you to consider this a call to action. Go and watch season three again or the whole series again or just watch your favorite episodes again or something. Let's support this great show though and show not just the executives but also Seth that we really do want him to figure out how to quote work it into everything else that's going on now as he puts it. Getting at another thing he said, there are a lot of people out there, you probably know some of them, who would love this show if they gave it a chance. So why don't you be the person who convinces them to do this? Sit down with a friend and watch the Orville. What could be better than that? There's another YouTube channel called Egotastic Funtime, where the host, a guy named JP, talks a lot about the Orville, and he's interviewed just about everyone on the show. They reach out to him with a lot of info, and he's said in his latest video where he addresses this no news update from Erwich, he said that he gets the feeling the show will be picked up again for another season, but nothing is definite, so we really need to show our support. Really, what other show is delivering an uplifting vision of the future where people are working together and delving into fun sci-fi moral quandaries? Not to mention, this show is episodic. You can tune in for one episode and then miss a couple of episodes and then catch another one and it's no problem. You didn't miss anything, really. Well, you missed a couple of great episodes, which you should go back and watch at some point. But my point is, the plot line will be easy to follow. You didn't miss anything important in that regard, like 
if you're watching Star Trek Discovery or Picard and you miss an episode, you kind of have no idea what's going on, if you did at all to begin with. As so many have said before, it feels more like real Trek than the recent CBS attempts. Season 3 was a lot lighter on the humor while still funny and felt even more like real Trek. Please, let's work together to bring back the Orville. Seth, if you're watching this, we need it, man. Come on, please. Oh, and please subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment and a thumbs up. It really helps us out. Let me know what you think about all this, or just leave a comment saying hi. Thanks a lot, guys. Now, seriously, go watch the Orville, and go with Avis. All right, fire it up.